Hey friends and family and all you nosy people on YouTube. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day today. I know I'm smiling you guys, but I don't feel good. I have 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for my 1K. I appreciate that. And now to all my new subscribers, this is just a channel about me, uh, post-stroke, post-brain surgery, uh, post-heart attack, whatever. And I do, I just do a plethora of things on here. So if you're looking for one particular thing, you won't find it here. You're going to get everything over here. Y'all nosy people. Y'all know why? Because I'm nosy too. But anyway, you guys, thank you. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I really do because it's all about friends and family and spending time with loved ones. So I was at home by myself and then uh, one of my really, really good girlfriends, she uh, insisted on picking me up, her and her husband, like they made me get out of the house. But and I'm okay with being alone. I'm good with myself. Anyway, you guys, I have something to tell you. Um, there's something that I'm going to share with you. I'm sorry for that I haven't... Um, uploaded a video it's been um it's been a minute so first of all let me tell y'all nosy people what i'm drinking i'm drinking this the tezo chai latte it comes with a pod and and your creamer and stuff is already in the bag and i'm eating banana uh peanut butter banana and tea biscuits <laughs> i just woke up it's still mid-morning here so, you guys, um, last week, uh, I had an allergy attack, and I called my doctor. I was trying to get in, well, I was trying to get my doctor to call me in a prescription for uh, something for my allergies. I have allergy medicine here, but it's over-the-counter. This is what I use over-the-counter. It has the same ingredients as most allergy medicines, but I, I really needed something because I was having a really, really bad attack last week when i got to the doctor she made me come in well that was the pa my, my doctor wasn't there so his pa she made me come in she wanted to uh, examine me before she gave me um uh, allergy stuff so anyway when i got there this is my paper when i got there let me show y'all my, my blood pressure reading was this here okay and it was 230 over 120 that was the second reading the first reading i think she said it was it was 230 over 142 and she made me sit there uh i think it was like five minutes because she was really really trying to get me to the emergency room so this was the second reading 230 over 120 what i just showed you so anyway um she sent me straight to the emergency room, and uh, that was last week, because uh, my blood pressure was in stroke uh, level. Y'all know I have malignant hypertension. Uh, for those that don't look at all of my videos, or for those that don't keep up with me, I have malignant hypertension. I've had a stroke. I've had brain surgery. I'm a survivor. I've had a heart attack in 2009. I have stents in my heart. So anyway, her concern was that I was in stroke level, stroke mode, I'm sorry. So I had to get rushed to the uh, ER. I sat in there for a minute. They finally put me in a room. And then I was released. Uh, and y'all, I'm okay. They was just trying to get my blood pressure down so I wouldn't have another stroke. So I was released, came home. And uh, I consistently take my meds now. I used to take them sporadically, but I take my meds consistently. So since then, uh, she made me an appointment with my nephrologist that I haven't seen. I do have a kidney blockage too, y'all. What else? And that's why my blood pressure uh, stays high. I have a blockage in my uh, artery, my left kidney artery. That's why my blood pressure won't come down. So... She made me an appointment with my nephrologist. She made me an appointment with my cardiologist. So I saw my cardiologist, I think it was three days after I got out of the hospital, which was last week also. Matter of fact, it was last Thursday. Today is Monday, you guys. So anyway, 
he ordered me four tests. I'm not I'm not gonna show y'all those to people, but these are the four tests I have I have upcoming. And tomorrow, the, these are the first two tests. I'll tell you what they are. But um the first two tests will start tomorrow. When he did my EKG, he said it was something irregular where I already had my attack. It's something in this area. And he did hear a heart murmur that had never has never been detected before. And he, he compared my EKG, my last two EKGs to this one that I took last week. And he said something is going wrong uh, in this area. So tomorrow... Why did they schedule me so late? Is this the one? Let me see, y'all. Because one of them I can't eat. Oh, that's my last one. Okay. Tomorrow, I have to get an echo. I guess an echo cardiogram. And then they're going to send me home with a holster uh, monitor here. That's tomorrow. Then on December the 6th, three days from now, I got to get a, a carotid duplex. That's what they're going to do, like a Doppler reading on my... Um, Nick arteries, I got to do that, and then I'm gonna get a uh, it's called an MPI Lexus scan. I think that's a um, I want to say it's a, like a nuclear stress test or something. But I have all of these things coming up really quick within starting tomorrow at the end of this week and then beginning of next week. I'll have four tests down, so I'll keep you guys abreast on that if you really want to know. I'll share those with you. I have nothing to hide, and you know. I know I look good, y'all, but the inside of me is sick. The inside of me is sick. Um, let me move this out. I'm not even, my stuff getting, hold on, y'all, my coffee, uh, my latte, hold on. It's getting cold, real fast. Some of y'all, y'all so sweet, some of my new subscribers, y'all leave me the kindest messages, and then y'all have me laughing. Y'all say that I have y'all laughing. But I'm telling y'all in the comments, y'all just really have me rolling. And y'all really make my day. And I love my nosy people. And then some some lady, y'all, I'm not going to call her name. This lady, she has got to be needing some Prozac because I'm a t she's a whack job. You guys, this lady came on and left me a comment. I deleted it. Don't even look for it. I deleted her shit. Because uh, I ain't finna be, you know, I'm trying to keep my blood pressure down. But this crazy lady... Said this, left this to me, y'all. She said, how dare you come on here and call me nosy? She said, you got the nerve to call me nosy. And you the one on here telling all your business. So I'm reading. And she said, that she left the message like, I come on here and I'm only talking to you, lady. No, bitch. I'm talking to all my nosy people. And I ain't just talking to you. I'm just making a video, lady. It's just, a, I'm just talking to a camera. I'm not talking to you. I don't even know you, witch. You hateful, mean witch. And y'all, she left me this ugly, ugly comment. And I couldn't do, y'all, I couldn't do nothing but laugh because it's just so many people with sick minds out here. This lady really thought I was only talking to her like I was insulting her. And she said I was calling her nosy. No, I just say my nosy people because I'm nosy. And this is something fun. You know, I'm a fun, lighthearted person. You know, I don't, you know. It's not a dick. It's just a joke. Don't take it so hard. As I like to tell you, uh, lady. I didn't block her, but I, I deleted her message. Anyway, y'all, back to my medications. Which prompted me to do this video uh, mid-morning. Um... Because my blood pressure is really, really out of whack right now, I got my medicine. Well, this is not all of them, but I'm going to share my medicines with you. I guess I'm going to have to warm that up. But I was getting ready to put my medicines in my my pill box, and I got my pill cutter. And yes, everything is purple, you guys. I hope you guys are really beginning to see that I'm really the obsessed, crazy, purple-loving, purple lady <laughs> but yeah i was getting ready to do my medicines i got my pill cutter here i got my box and i just said let me share this with my you know with my new nosy people um some of my medicines that i'm on so here they are and y'all all of these are up to date no repeats uh i'm just gonna run them out and most of them are blood pressure medicines and i think a couple couple of them are like pre preventive medications which i don't really like to take those i don't have high cholesterol so why does my doctor have me on a preventive preventative for high i don't have high cholesterol but anyway so i take clonidine y'all this is clonidine 
this is uh this is i don't take this every day this is supposed to be as needed uh when my blood pressure spikes like it did going to the doctor i'm supposed to take one of these immediately and then i'm supposed to put a nitroglycerin under my tongue and just sit there and relax so i i do have clonidine and then i have a uh, gabapentin uh that's for my uh, nerve damage in my legs for my nerve uh, neuropathy i have neuropathy and y'all i know y'all don't believe me but i couldn't make this shit up i wish i didn't and i know uh y'all say i look good and stuff for my age that's because i really try when i can i work out i go to the gym i try to eat right uh and feed my body good that's why i say that to you guys all the time you know because you, you it, it doesn't matter how i look on the outside it's the inside of me that's that's really sick and that's why I, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover i get so many mean comments like oh you don't deserve free groceries and yes the fuck i do and i get them and i'm gonna keep getting them just to make you mad i do deserve it i had a legitimate stroke i lost my career I lost my sensation in, in this these fingers right here. I used to be a nail tech. I don't have anything to hide. I'll tell y'all my story. Just don't come to me in a mean kind of way. You can ask me anything, and I'll tell you the truth. But don't come at me, because I'm going to come for you. I keep telling you, I'm going to cuss your ass out. If you come for me, because I know what kind of person I am. Back to the medication. So, I have Lasartan. This is a, a blood pressure. This one is not. This is uh, for my neuropathy. So, blood pressure, blood pressure. Let me scoot you out the way over here. Um, okay, this one here. Oh, I don't even know how to say this. Pantoprazoli. Pantoprazoli. I don't know. But uh, this, I think he told me he gave me this because my I'm always queasy. I'm always throwing up my food. Um always throwing up my food so i think he told me this is to sell in my stomach i don't even hardly take this i don't like preventive stuff okay this one um this is paroxetine it was supposed to be for my high blood uh high, i mean for my high flashes but i found these patches from thrive that they helped me with my high flashes but that's what this is for just straight paroxetine he told me that it's supposed to help my high flashes which this did not help my high flashes so i stopped taking this for real so that's not blood pressure. Okay, and then you guys, uh, I take um, Metoprolol ER. I take this. Uh, Simvastatin, I take that. This is the one, um, I think this is the one that's supposed to thin my blood. Because I did tell you I had a heart attack. I do have stents he here in my main artery. My main artery to my heart. And so this is supposed to be, I guess, like a blood thinner or whatever. This is more allergy medicines. I'm out of this. Um, Curvetolol. This is blood pressure. What is this? Oh, this is naproxen. I don't know why they gave me this because it does nothing for me. I don't even take... Look how full it is. I don't even take it. And then I do have some other blood pressure. Oh, this is my uh, nitroglycerin right here. I take a vitamin vitamin b12 shot every once a week and i do have some more uh, medications but they they in my other bag let me see i don't take that i don't take that oh this my uh this my b12 shot here i got a uh, prescription allergy uh for your nose i got a uh, cream for my allergies, I got prescription cream. It's something missing. Oh, I take lisinopril. It's not in here. That's lasartan clonidine. Okay, I right One, two, three, four. It's three I'm missing. Lisinopril and two more that I can't think of. But anyway, making my uh, time run out. Y'all, so this is my medicine I want to share with you. Um, I'm getting ready to uh, fill up my uh, daily, well, it's a weekly daily thing. Fill this up, do all that, make sure I take my medicines on time. Uh, I, I really have a problem with just taking all of these pills. Oh, Mr. Uh, Larry, I have your coffee pot in here. I'm going to the... Um, 
Larry Williamson in uh, Huntington, West Virginia. I did get your email. I didn't respond, but I'm, I'm trying to do a whole bunch of things. But this is your coffee pot in here. I'm not going to show your address, but I promise you, you will be getting this in the mail. I'm going to mail it today. And I got some more drama I'm going to tell y'all about. I have two other things. Well, one, two, three other things that I want to share with you guys. But for right now, let me go ahead and finish my uh, tea biscuits, peanut butter, and bananas. I passed breakfast. This is just my little, little snack, honey. But I appreciate every one of you guys. I love you guys. And if you uh, leave me a comment, I will get to it. I'm trying to, um, I try to get to all of my comments. I promise I do, but um, there's no time. There is no time. You know why? Because I got shit to do. I can't answer y'all questions every right when you send it because I got shit to do. I got to go nosy people. I will do another video maybe today, maybe two today because I have something else I want to share with you guys. But for right now, I got to go. I'm going to talk to you people later in my next video. I have a box up under my knee and it's killing me, y'all. <laughs> it's right here up under my knee. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to let y'all go. I got to go for real. I got shit to do. I got to warm my uh, tea back up now. And try to uh, get this down so I can take some of these meds. Y'all, I love you. Y'all, for real. Take care of yourself. I promise. I'm, I say this for a reason. I was almost out of here, y'all. I was dead. I was laying dead in an ambulance, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm just glad God spared my life. So, y'all, I got to go. Don't be hating on me. If you leave me some hate comments. I'm going to cuss your ass out for real. Because that's just typical me. But you guys, I love you for real. I love you for real. Y'all, I got to go. Love each other. Kiss each mm -hmm. other. Eat you some good food. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, you guys. Thank you to my new subscribers, too. Y'all, peace out.